Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing career fields out there. And if you've been thinking about jumping into cybersecurity, chances are you've probably heard of the CompTIA Security Plus certification. And here's the thing. There's a brand new version of the CompTIA Security Plus certification called the CompTIA Security Plus SY0701 exam. And it's not exactly a walk in the park. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know before you take the new version of the CompTIA Security Plus certification. What's covered, what's changed, who should take it, how you should study for it, and how to make sure that you're actually ready for the exam. And stick around till the end because I'm gonna be sharing some real exam tips that are gonna come in really handy for you. Let's get into it. First, let's start with the basics. Security Plus is one of the most popular certifications in the whole cybersecurity world. It's offered by CompTIA, which is one of the most reputable names in the IT industry. Security Plus is considered an entry-level certification, but don't let entry-level fool you. It is not easy. This is a serious exam that tests your ability to recognize, prevent, and respond to a wide range of cybersecurity threats. Getting certified with a CompTIA Security Plus certification means that you know how to secure networks, detect attacks, handle incidents, and keep your system safe all around. It shows employers that you are actually ready to jump into a cybersecurity role and do the job required, not just talk about it. That's why it's often a requirement for a lot of government jobs and a lot of Department of Defense positions under the 8570-8140 requirement, and a lot of other private companies that want to ensure that they protect their data and the data of their customers and users. Now let's talk about the SY0701 version, which is the latest update, and it came to replace the SY0601 version. CompTIA updates its exams every few years to make sure that they stay on top of the latest trends, updates, and replacements in the industry. And trust me, a lot has changed. The 701 exam actually includes less objectives than a 601 exam, but don't get too excited about that. CompTIA has actually reorganized the materials and added new modern content content to the objectives so that they can reflect what's happening in the real cyber world right now. Here are some of the biggest changes in the new exam. First, there's a stronger focus on cloud and hybrid environments. With so many companies moving to cloud platforms like AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud, knowing how to secure these environments is actually essential. Secondly, there's a huge focus on automation and scripting. This includes basic understanding of tools like Python and PowerShell, which are used to automate security tasks and analyze malware. Third, threat detection and incident response have been expanded. You'll need to recognize threat actors, understand how to contain different breaches, and how to apply response plans when something happens. And finally, the exam is much more scenario-based. That means you won't just be asked to name a definition or pick a term. You'll be given a situation and asked what you would do in this kind of situation. It's all about critical thinking and a lot less memorizing. So if you're used to using flashcards and guessing your way through questions, this probably won't work for the Security Plus exam. So who is the Security Plus exam really for? Well, the Security Plus exam is really perfect if you're a beginner looking to break into cybersecurity, if you're already working in IT and need something to do professional development, or you want to move into a more security-focused role, the Security Plus certification is also very important if you're a military service member or a government employee under the 8570-8140 requirement, or you're a college student or a career changer looking for your first cybersecurity certification. It's also highly recommended before jumping into higher level security certifications like the CompTIA CISA Plus, Pentest Plus, or CEH. But even if you're not going into a cybersecurity role, understanding security principles has actually become essentials for a lot of roles. Whether you're in networking, cloud computing, or software development, everyone needs to speak security. So yes, if you're interested in a career in tech, Security Plus is a huge and smart investment. And let's talk real for a second. The Security Plus exam is not easy. It's not the kind of test that you would cram for in a week or two. Most people need at least four to six weeks to study for the Security Plus exam, and sometimes more if you're brand new to IT. The questions are very tricky. They are designed in a way to test if you understand the objectives and the principles behind them and how to actually apply them in the real world. You'll get multiple choice questions, drag and drop questions, performance-based simulation questions, and a lot more. But here's the good news. You can pass 
and we can help. At Dion Training, we've helped hundreds of thousands of students pass their Security Plus exam. And our courses are designed to make the certification feel less like a mountaintop and more of a path that you can take. When you sign up at DionTraining.com for the CompTIA Security Plus course, here's what you get. Step-by-step -step video lessons that take you through the whole objectives of the CompTIA Security Plus exam. We go through everything, nothing is left for guesswork. Every topic is broken down in plain English, no jargon and no stuffing. And it's taught by certified instructors who have years and years of experience in cybersecurity jobs. You'll get practice exams that match the style of the real exam so that you make sure that you're ready for any kind of question on the exam, not just the easy ones. Along with explanations for every single question so you can understand the why behind the what and not just memorize blindly. There's also a downloadable study guide, different study plans, plans for you to use, and even a community of students and instructors who are ready to answer your questions very fast. You don't need to figure it all out on your own. We've got the path set and ready for you. You just need to make the decision so that you could focus on learning without wasting any time. And if you already signed up for the course and ready to take the exam, you can also head to deontraining.com slash vouchers and get a 10% pre-applied discount on your voucher. All right, let's say the exam is finally coming up. Here are a few tips. First, don't skip studying for the performance-based questions. If you skip studying for those questions, it's gonna be really hard on an exam. These are the longest and probably the hardest questions on the exam, and they are usually at the beginning of the test. They require a lot of hands-on practice and critical thinking. Practice them ahead of time so that they don't throw you off. And a great way to practice them is actually to check out the lab courses on deontraining.com. So make sure you do that. The second tip is to watch out for best and first questions. For example, what's the first thing that you should do or what is the best thing to do? These questions are testing your decision-making process. So read them very carefully before choosing an answer. Third, know your acronyms. I know I've already said that the exam is not just about memorization, but you should be able to recognize the acronyms that are in the objectives because most most of the time, CompTIA is not going to provide you with what the abbreviations stand for. And finally, there is something that you could do that could actually save the day. When you head on to deontraining.com slash vouchers and you go to buy your exam voucher, you can actually add the take two option, which will help you get a second take at the exam if you fail the first one at a fraction of the price, so you don't have to pay full price for the voucher two times. It works just like a safety net and adding it will make you feel a lot better at the exam and help you just push more. It is basically insurance. If you don't pass the first time, you just email us and we get you a second voucher for your exam so that you could retake it without paying full price. It removes so much of the stress and gives you a lot of peace of mind. I personally use it all the time and I think you should too, especially if this is your first CompTIA exam. Let's recap really quick. The CompTIA Security Plus 701 version is tougher, smarter and more focused on the real world security than ever before. But if you're prepared, it can actually be your ticket into a higher paying job or a promotion. Whether you're just getting started, switching careers or leveling up in IT, I think the Security Plus certification could be a huge addition to your portfolio. And the best place to start is DeonTraining.com. We've got the tools, the lessons, the exams and everything you need. So if you like this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, comment down below and let us know what kind of videos you want to see from the Dion Training channel. I'll see you in the next one.